Okay, what's going on everyone? MC with Secret Dog here, and today I want to talk about a amazing, really easy to use, um, just absolutely um, great mutant champion, Rogue. Uh, Rogue is, she was a personal favorite of mine for a while in the mutant class, just because of her amazing utility, um, and she can get some alright damage when you crit, um, but in general, she is a really great champion for the level of utility that she holds um, in a very easy to use champion as well. Uh, all of her utility is in her specials, um, and that basic utility is two things. You have her power steal and her um, regen. So they're both very easy to use. Hop into abilities here. So first thing first, uh, her signature ability isn't entirely necessary, but it is very helpful. Uh, her signature ability um, at level 79, which is what I have my 4 star at right now, 33% chance for life or power steals to be critical. And this will about double the amount uh, stolen uh, for regen or for power steal. Uh, so this is really helpful. You're going to be healing more, you're going to be stealing more power, be able to chain those um, SP2 power steals off a lot easier if you get more of them critical. Um, because of that, it, like, like I said, you don't need to have them be critical, but it is very helpful to have them be critical. And, um, I don't know how well her, her um, signature ability scales, but uh, if it's get, I, I think it probably scales up So it's, she doesn't really need that high sig level, but it can be helpful in addition. Alright, so her passive is really helpful um, and is also a pain if you've ever fought her on Alliance for defense. Uh, she decreases the duration of all debuffs by 70%. Uh, this can be great for... Um, this makes her a very good um, suicide user uh, because not only are you going to be getting regen off your SP1, you can see it right down there, um, but you're also going to be having 70% less duration on that bleed at the very beginning of the fight. The poison won't go away, obviously, if you're using double, double suicides, but uh, you're, again, your SP1 will be regening you. So, not only. So, Rogue deals just under 700 as a max 4 star, and you're healed for 100% of life stolen. This can be critical. Uh, it'll it'll steal I believe thirteen hundred then somewhere around that. Uh, that may be with class advantage though. Uh, in addition to this, you will replicate up to five of the opponent's active buffs. Um, this will be something like Fury or Armor Up, and you're going to be sealing those as long as you keep touching the opponent. Uh, the only thing you can't steal is anything from tech. Opponents, so anyone you have class disadvantage on, or unstoppable. So the biggest thing this is for someone like Ultron, you can't steal this region. And they don't have the timer that the opponent's buffs normally do. They'll instead be replaced by a pretty short timer. Um, although they are infinite. So you're going to see the buff and then a timer next to the buff. Um, and basically what happens is you have to keep that timer from reaching zero, otherwise you lose all the buffs. Um, it is relatively short. You have to play very aggressive, and that's where her SP2 can be helpful. 100% chance per hit to power steal, taking 9% of power. Um, this, again, increased heavily by um, you by your critical damage when you are, are duped and you get those uh, critical, light, critical power steals. Finally, her SP3. 100% chance to power steal uh, only once. So when like the SP2, we still 9% per hit, and I think it's three hits. Uh, it's 27% overall. And you will activate one buff per type that was replicated. So this is kind of weird, but it's just it's it's basically like an armor up buff and a fury buff are different types. You're gonna you can be able to activate one of those. And again, they'll stay active as long as you keep touching the opponent within that small amount of time. And I didn't explain this up with the SP1, but touching means that you can either actually hit them, or you can just hit into their block. So hopefully I'll be able to show that off in the Soldier when we fight him before, when we fight him later. Um, and again, opponents cannot activate those buffs. So it's the same kind of buff steal 
as the SP1. So um, attributes, I didn't go over these, but very good critical rating, 26%, uh, not too great critical damage rating and block efficiency is relatively average. Uh, in general, you're going to find her damage is relatively low. A uh, lot of heavy utility champions like Rogue tend to be that way, but because of her regen, you're going to last for a very long time. As far as synergy goes, none of these are very important, um, and the only synergy worth mentioning for Rogue that's not on her is with Captain Marvel. Uh, with Captain Marvel, uh, only the 4 and 5 star versions, Rogue will deal an additional 15% of damage dealt as energy damage, and it's only on her physical attacks. So that can, that can really increase your damage a lot if you're looking to have Rogue do a lot of damage, in addition to having that utility. So. Let's hop into some gameplay now and check it out. So we're going to start off with a duel here really quick before we go into a full quest. Uh, just to get to the Hyperion to show off how a consistent her power drain and power steal can be, and just how helpful it is in a lot of different situations. Uh, Hyperion is a absolute pain in the ass um, because of his power gain. We are not going to be stealing his buff though, that is an option if we wanted to kind of gain a little bit of power quickly. Um, but we're going to be just avoiding that. Get that SP1 out of him, a couple more hits. Maybe another SP1 if he wants to be nice? He does want to be nice. Okay. Uh, one thing I really like about rogues, I don't have to be watching my combo like I do with Dr. Fuyu. So one critical power steal there. Um, get another SP2 out of him. And I'll be able to play aggressive here. Uh, I didn't think I had enough that's fine. Uh, we did not get nearly enough power gain that I wanted. No criticals there. That's all right. Um, it's still enough to get him below three bars every time, which is still good. I think we'll just barely have enough power here to land it, and we do. And we finish him off. Pretty consistent there. He was a little bit nice throwing specials, but that's all right. Okay, so I've got a collection of rogue gameplay uh, from this month's uncollected quest. Uh, we're going to be uh, taking the um, Breakthrough Path, which is the heavy armor up at the very beginning um, with armor breaks throughout, because it's going to help Rogue's damage later on in the fights. Um, we're going to have a couple diff difficult fights at the beginning, and then later on it's going to get a lot nicer. So starting off with a Korg. Um, I don't really like fighting Korg. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I've gotten better at uh, doing light attack intercepts, but still the timing on when his... Um, when his unstoppable and um, yeah, unstoppable and unblockable procs is still an issue for me. Um, I need to do my best to learn that. I've, I've been using Quake for him forever, but that's not the point of this. Uh, one great thing about Rogue, not only does she have class advantage, but her regen, uh, I think she healed up 2600 uh, right before this, just from one SP1, um, will help a lot. Not only to negate when I get hit, but it'll also help... Um, keep that uh, Thorin's damage from his rock shields um, at a minimum. This is by far the worst fight of the quest. Don't worry, they get a lot better after this one. Uh, this time up against uh, Root, and what I'm going to try and do here is every time he has Furies, I'm going to try and use my SP1, because when I steal those Furies, those Furies will count for the life steal. Now the amount of armor breaks that he has on him does not affect the life steal health at all. Um, I learned that while doing this quest. I wasn't quite sure if it would, but it is the same damage no matter what because it's not uh, physical. Um, See, so we healed 3,600 through his block, and that's you definitely don't want to go through his block. Uh, one thing you'll note about Rogue is that if you kill them with that lifesteal attack, you won't actually gain that health. So if that 3,600 was all I needed to kill him, then I wouldn't have actually gained any of that health, and it would have simply doubled damage. Uh, Rogue only gaining a maximum of five buffs is kind of hurting me here. I'm not. I could have gained to seven Furies, which would have healed me for an absolute ton, but instead I'm only gaining two, maybe three, because at random I'm gaining other buffs as well. It may be like, I think it may be like just a percentage of however many buffs there are. So let's, so she he has three buffs, and you're going to steal those three as evenly as you can. That's why she gained two, two, and one of the cruel, cruel, cruelty, fury, 
and of the um, physical resist. Uh, we use the SP1 a lot throughout this quest, and I show off the SP2 a lot more against Winter Soldier when I show that as a much more sped up uh, fight later on. Uh, we're healing pretty good. We've got 1900 critical life still there, which is quite good. Um, with class advantage, Rogue's life steal does increase quite a bit, and it's very good. The yellow text you see on the right um, that says life steal or power steal, uh, red is what you're going to see normally, and yellow is what you see when it's critical, which means it's going to be either life stealing a lot more, or it's going to be uh, power stealing a lot more. Massacre, we're cutting him down very quickly. Um, Back up to 65% now. I think I think our lowest was at like 30% or something like that. So we're doing a pretty good job. And my goal is going to be to go completely through this quest. Um, through the um, boss, the uh, Cull of Obsidian boss at the very end as well. And see how far we can get with him. Because he's a long fight. But back up to 91% already. And he's just going to get chipped down right away. Ended up at 92% which is very good. You can see just how much her healing really does. Um, despite a really bad start in this quest, um, she's doing quite well here. Uh, her damage, again, isn't that high. 1,300 on a light, um, on a medium crit, which isn't too great. Um, looking back on it, this it's still better than the um, video I tried to record a couple weeks ago, which was the champion, and it didn't do too well there. Uh, Rogue will not be stealing any of She-Hulk's Furies here. Um, because of her ability accuracy reduction, actually, against mutants during their special attacks, you can see that not only... Uh, I can't steal the Furies because they're passives, but also I'm not stealing any health at all because she's reducing my ability accuracy. That's She-Hulk's stupid ability uh, against mutants. Uh, again, because of all the armor, stack, armor breaks are stacking up, she's doing a little bit better damage as the fight goes on. Um, physically for a couple of her heads. We're just trying to regen up back all the way here. Um, I think in this fight I'm still just trying to get back to 100%. Uh, this may be the very last one before Call of Sitting, I believe. Um, and we do again test her. Um, I'll show that she can't steal uh, Deadpool X Force's um, regen, or not regen, his uh, power gain buff at the very end of the fight as well. One thing about Rogue that I really like about her. Uh, you can see she shrugs off a bleeds really quickly there, which is nice. But also her animations are very fluid. Uh, a lot of the newer characters have this. Some of the older ones kind of miss it, which is a bit of a shame. Got an SV3 there. I got lucky with a heavy crit there. Uh, but her animations are so fluid that it is in fact possible to standing intercept with her. And it's really good because of that. Now this fight, as far as Rogue goes, went really well. And you'll see why in a minute here. Um, her damage is very low, and Cull Obsidian has a massive amount of health for a boss where he's right now. Luckily there, I get hit. He only does a 4-hit combo instead of a 5. And something interesting will happen here in a couple seconds. We're down to 13% health. Looking like it's not going to go too well, and we're not going to make it. Just trying to bail out the SP1. Not get hit here best as I can. Trying to regen up the little, littlest amounts as we can. 1900 there on a crit. Not doing too well so far. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here is the orange timer on Obsidian, when that goes away, he gets a Fury buff. That Fury buff became mine, and Bro healed for 7,000 health in one health steal. Every time that orange fury, orange fury timer ticks down, he's going to get that massive fury again, and we're going to be able to steal it every single time that we can. Just barely missed it that time. We only healed for 800. His physical resist is pretty high, um, and because it wasn't a crit as well, uh, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Again, I'm just trying to make get myself back up to a good amount of health there. Uh, using his SP2 didn't cause him to gain the fury, which was a little bit weird. But I use it there. Uh, no crit, so only 3k. That was the standing intercept that I was talking about. Love using that. And we get another 7k. I didn't go for the standing intercept again. Um, 
we're now just using the Fury. We're hitting for 3k with that Fury. Um, just being able to steal massive Fury buffs like that on big enemies is one of Rogue's biggest upsides for her damage. Um, it's just insane to do. I get ships there again. Not doing too good. Trying to be able to get me too. But just her buff steal is easily the best part of her utility. That and the fact that it's combined with that regen. Um, that, that, that is what really makes Rogue a just exceptional champion in my mind. Gonna steal the Fury again. Another 3k back to 63. Um, I would not have survived nearly as long without Rogue's regen on any other champion. Um, every other 4 star that I tried on this, I tried a couple 4 stars. I tried some 5 star R3s. And no one made it as far as Rogue did. I should have gone into a full 5k combo there, but it doesn't matter anyways. Wouldn't have finished off there. And we do get killed at the very end. We ended up, I believe we had, what do we have? 110 hits. Uh, receiving 10, quite a bit of hits there. And it took a lot of damage. Now, just to finish it off, we're in a soldier fight. This fight was over 8 minutes long, so I have it sped up to 500%. Um, biggest thing to note here is that I'm going to be focusing a little on the SP2. You can see the red power steel text there. Um, happens quite a bit, surprisingly, at the start. But then you start to see the yellow, and we're basically almost able to rotate between SP2s. You can see just how much faster I'm throwing them now, now that we're getting more uh, criticals on that. Um, we're staying at very high health. Um, we're at a pretty good combo here, and I believe... It should be relatively soon where I actually end up losing that combo, and um, end up taking quite a quite a big amount of hits. Um, however, because I'm rogue, I'm going to be able to regen that up throughout the throughout the rest of the fight. You see just how many how many hits I took there. I think I get hit again later on. Um, I'm just playing incredibly sloppy, just trying because I went back to the SP uh, one for a little while. Just to re regen up. Back to focusing on the SP2. So once once I'm at like 90 plus percent, um, 90 to 100 percent, that's when I'm focusing on the SP2 uh, compared to the SP2. That was a great. Um, we shrugged off for the bleed. We got some critical SP2s. This is going a little bit fast, but I just want to get get it done so that I can move on to actually what she does for damage. Because I do want to talk that that is her biggest flaw as a character. I think I've shown up her utility pretty well, um, but it, it definitely is her biggest flaw here. 477 hits. So back to the spreadsheet, just because I do want to highlight Rogue's flaw a little bit. Um, in general, her damage, 477 hits against Winter Soldier. This is the entire collection of all the four stars that I've done, either through videos or my own testing. Um, Rogue ended up with 477 hits uh, for a complete kill and did on average 1100 per hit not too good there uh eight minute time to kill which dr voodoo beats out which is not that good at all um on average of all the characters including ghost i have ghost a little bit separated here just because of um because how i did it um on average she is over just just over 800 damage per hit lower than that, than that average uh, for all these characters. And not, not all of these are heavy damage dealers. You have people like Phoenix, Guillotine, Voodoo in here. Um, yes, they are separated by Emma Frost and Hyperion and Ghost, obviously, but I believe um, even if I were to average... Um, I, I, can't, I can't average it right now. But even if I was to average of these, I believe it was a lot, um, if I get rid of that, divided by, what's that, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. even if I do that, she's still 600 below, uh, without Ghost, so, she still doesn't have that good damage compared to a lot of other characters, um, however, her utility far outclasses her compared to someone like Phoenix or even Guilty, and I'm a big fan of Guilty. 
So just to finish up here and kind of reiterate some of my points, I think Brooke is an exceptional champion. Uh, despite her well than below average um, damage, she really is a exceptional choice because of her utility. Her consistent regen and consistent power gain make her very good options. Um, just her buff steal as well is a really cool um, mechanic and can be really helpful in some different situations. Um, especially because she replicates the buff as is. Um, so someone like um, someone like 5, 4, 6 Ultron, uh, if you steal that Fury, that's a big percent Fury, so you're doing a lot of damage if you have that Fury. Uh, I think the only downside to her is her buff steal doesn't last very long because um, you have to be touching the opponent, you have to be playing very aggressive. Recipe 2 does help with that, but if you have even a lot of specials you have to bait out, take longer for to wait those out than the actual timer lasts. So you really do have to be extremely aggressive to keep that up. Um, because her motions are fluid, uh, being able to stand the intercept works and helps, but it's not everything that you need. Um, and again, her damage just isn't really there. Um, but that's fine. She doesn't need it. I think that uh, Captain Marvel synergy that I talked about earlier would really help. I haven't had a chance to try that out. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys uh, what you think about it if you have a 4 or a 5 star Captain Marvel and a Rogue as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Fantastic champion. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any preferences for me to do next, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be taking a couple more days um, because I am going to be redoing the whole Modoc video with his um, with his flux pattern because it's wrong, and I want to talk about that and do it right this time. So, uh, also follow me on Twitter for updates and that kind of stuff. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you stick around. Uh, sub to the channel if you like what if you like what you're seeing, and I'll have more out soon. Thanks for watching.